Avatars have been loaded for a long time. Lady Julia, it is my honor. Oh, Welcome to the rendezvous. How will I know? Thank you. Uh, this is I'm my boyfriend, Krenikra, and my friend, Demon Wolf. Oh, nice to meet you, Bakon, and uh, Demon. Oof. Welcome. Ten oh, I've seen an avatar before. To myself. There was more that Still was loaded. Me too. Like, and oh, no. Well, it's really the really Markiplier. And then you started talking, and I was Perfect. like, oh, Another yeah, member. Friend. Make yourself at home. Metal as tonight, Metal Gen used that a few uh, is about to begin. Yeah, Metal Gen yeah. used that. I repeat, yeah, travelers, yeah. at this time, oh. tonight's yeah, event is better. about to begin. Mm. Kindly <laughs> make your way to the prep room. I repeat, at this time, exactly like make your way <laughs> to the prep room. Travelers, Don't call me out at you? this time, make your way to the prep room. Hi, so... Okay, well, I'm gonna give you a little list, you all have fun, Tonight's event sorry, is about to begin. You Make your way to the prep room. Konnichiwa, Sheen. Konnichiwa. Ni hao, hen kai sing ne kandao ni jing dian. Ni hao, wo han hao. Ah,你很好，太好了。那你会说中文了，就怎么好？我还喜欢中文啊，我妈妈是台湾来的。我的天，你会说？我会说Japanese，一点Japanese，一点Korean。你就是一个帅哥。嗯。Hey, Ether. No, you can't find it. Yeah, I really can't. It's a security camera in here. Where does it leave? It was in here, but... China. Hmm. Indeed there is. What a calibration we are. That is when you should do your full body um, calibration. Ah, okay. And I don't have that, though. Yeah. It, it's useless. Oh, that's right. Shoot. <laughs> These are pictures from I know. Mm. Is it what's his name here in Cali yeah, this week? Shoot, I need I need to message him. Whoa, 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 whoa! Why are all the pictures flickering? Did did nothing happen? Uh, because it just broke it once. Oh, they're all like flickering. Renizo broke the world. He broke his own world. Oh wow. There, you go. there we go. I know. <laughs> yeah, it's just when you click to it. Oh, right. I have this on. I forgot. Isn't Thrill King here? Isn't Thrill King here in Cali? I need to me message him. I know exactly what you referenced. Because he said he was doing a trip, I think. So I need to message him. Crap. I forgot to tell you about that. Well, you got something against Todd. Yeah. I'm sorry. You're pretending to be me? Oh my god. <laughs> Greetings. No, I don't know. I didn't see it. What, there's two of you now? Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. It seems you've met with an uncertain fate. You find yourself at an interdimensional crossroad. A rendezvous of travelers between worlds. My name is Sheen. I am a highly metastasized, informorphic, mimetic meme complex. 
and one of the tour guides of VR Travelers. We create immersive story-based tours with original writing, beautiful worlds, voice acting, and 100% wholesome team effort. Welcome to the rendezvous. Our point of contact to the narrative domain. Travelers, tonight we will be telling the story of the scavenger. You are welcome to stream and or record tonight's event as we do this for free, for fun, to be a bright spot in the world today. But, travelers, 10,000 apologies. Tonight's tour is not given by me. No. Tonight's tour is much better. Tonight's tour will be told by the greatest voice actor to ever grace the virtual halls of VR chat. Yes, tonight's tour, The Scavenger, will be told to you by the one the only Trey Gem. Son. Hey. 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 Son. There we go. <laughs> I love you, Trey Gem. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wasting your ammo there, buddy? Hmm. Yes. I, I Thank you, you, Shane, for that introduction, and for letting me borrow your access card then once again. Good evening, friends, newcomers, and regulars alike. Tonight's story is the tale of the scavenger, a short ad adventure compared to our other events. However, don't let that fool you. The scavenger is still dense with plot. The plot Additionally, thickens. while our events are usually interactive, tonight's event is being guided by the encephalon. Tonight. But once mm. more, please don't let that discourage you. After all, there is a silver lining to every cloud. Even ether clouds. My friends, tonight we are descending. But we're not quite going to make it. Mm. All the way into the narrative domain. No. We're going somewhere a little bit unconventional. My friends, before I take us, there are only two rules. Number one, as you are all so kindly doing, while narration is occurring, please remain silent so that the story may continue. <laughs> However, as we walk from place to place, you are more than welcome to talk amongst yourselves. Secondly, please remain with me, your tour guide, at all times. If you require help or get lost, Sheen is here to help you. Now, my friends, without further ado, those in front of me Kindly step aside so I have space to drop a portal to tonight's instance.
my friends, please do not enter the portal until I give the signal. Yeah, don't come and cause you run into the portal back last week. Wait, wait here, stable. Wait. Please wait for me at the entrance to this world. We will see you all there. Onward, friends. Oh my god, <laughs> click button to enter. And there okay. he goes again. Alright, yeet. That was fun. He's dead, Jim. <laughs> there we go. Ah, uh, hello, sir. Yes, I would like to buy what you are selling. Uh, Fuck it. Okay. Um, what is this now? I got books. Please respect my personal <laughs> space. Do you have any magic books? Blocks in your uh, Magic books for wizards. No, it doesn't look like it. Do you want a pot? <sighs> Maybe a pot. Maybe a pot. Yeah, why the heck not? Oh, I like some pot. What do you think, so, Is that what you said? No. In my five years of playing, I've never been and here before. It's a very unique world. You really? haven't. Never. So I've been coming to. Huh. I've been coming to VR much? Travelers since I first joined VR Chat. This is our first for me. It's a good pot. <laughs> Pretty we interesting. We're into a tree. We're a wholesome community. And yeah. they do these they do these events what? every Saturday exactly at this time. FBI should be not the door. Pretty much yeah. the very first if the friend. If the army gives I met. me work off, maybe I can show up to a few. <laughs> the very first friend <laughs> I met in VR oh, chat yeah. actually brought me to VR Travelers. I am totally not too big. Oh shit. Yeah, neither am I. But yeah, actually, yeah, actually for me it was my uh, first VR chat partner, so yeah. Nice. And now my partner has brought me here. I fully Prince Ice. Oh. Hun, if you grab over your shoulders, you've got the you got the this. climbing uh, uh, script in here. Ah, oh, so that's yeah, I need I need Prince Ice from when I was NPC yeah, I know, for Fractured, so. No. Alk. Very fun. I know. I said that. I'm clearly different. No, I need Alk. Climbing features, but we won't be using it. Please, do not use it during the tour. It may. Bug out and you'll be thrown off into the abyss. Yeah, that's the, the fun that part, isn't it? I used to plan my install files, but I had to strip it. Yep, there's a gun. Fuck's sake. I don't think. Yes, I know. Oh, these ah, just don't. I'm. I mean, we found a couple of no man and fall off a thing. I saved myself. I literally got stuck in that thing. Yeah, that's what I said. I found a grabable wall. These climbing walls are very, very big. That's a big-ass fish. Yeah. It is a very big fish. I'm so excited for a 
We need to know what the Vader does. Where's this supposed to be? It's a very bulbous fish. Collecting rainbow. Bulbous. It's bulbous. It's flying. It's a flying fish. That's a flying bulbous fish. You think it's helium filled? Oh, Maybe. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, there you go. It's Could be related to a blobfish. Uh, it's probably explosive. Long live the king. Whoa! Well, you can always fling your sword up there and see if it uh, explodes on impact. Well, judging by the fact that's just a waste of ground, I don't think that's a very good idea. Yeah, you know what? Let's just get Demon to use his ground. Wait, Demon, where is your. Does this person not get the, the browning high power on their head? <laughs> They're supposed to have I mean, the pistol. Must be really I guess you just got yeah. fucked yeah. by the armor. You gotta do something about that, my brother. Because I was gonna oh, say, we could just get Demon to use the browning high power to see if it would work, but then I'm like... Yeah, you're unarmed. You should have a pistol. Apparently I'm just a watchman. You should have a pistol. I'm doing pretty good. Get a pistol. Have one handy? Oh, what, you mean, like, wow. No, you're gonna have to no, ask you. Oh, you it's you pistol. they were talking. Uh, Why? What's up? You need a pistol. Yeah, your your voice. voice. I think uh, choosing the power is supposed to keep the uh, sound like you're in a hospital. What do you mean? Pistol. Just kidding. Because <laughs> you sound like ask someone I know. The monkey. Because I'm fucking cool. Hello. Uh, well, tasers only work. That's the second time. Cute little creature. Who are you? That you don't know. Yeah, it's all good. Yeah, quit calling me out. Not really. These guys look like they're strong people. Sound <laughs> <laughs> so, like someone Here. got a soundboard. Can I shake your hand? <laughs> mm -hmm. Apparently, you can Social go interaction one hundred. Sort of Soundboards are fun. Well, <laughs> I've always been a soundboard. True. I am Aren't they oh, no. Apparently, you're famous and no, don't know it. Killed, uh, they stole I guess. A bit of so wow. now, as a ghost, That's I'm very concerning. Wow. Is that a yeah. Yeah. I know. Or is that like the cube? And this is why you don't work for a mafia. Oh, what happened? What are the keys? You're a panda. You're opaque now. That's an airship. Really, I'm blind. Well, what? Yeah. You yeah, can no. see right through you. You're opaque. <laughs> Trans yeah, transparent. Okay. Transparent? Oh, okay. Transparent is the opposite of transparent. <laughs> okay, alright. Uh, okay, now you're gone. I guess someone's having see, too much I, fun I, with I, bubble wrap. Really Must be so, nice! Uh, we should be starting pretty like soon here. <laughs> it must be nice. I have no. Yeah. I think we're just ready. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Jim, I was just waiting on the bottom of the month? Yeah, two or three. Two, two or three. Vocals. Um, and I still am being thrown for no reason. Hey, Jim? I be starting in a few minutes. I'm chuffed with the soul effect, but I have no idea how I'm going to further apply that. Well, I mean, if anything, um, yes, you can play with my name MRP, tag. I want to focus on my uh, on a new with your hair is my anyway. So, um, how soul rude. potato. <gasps> no, no, we no. have police leave my, officers leave here. my soul hmm. potato potato oh, soul out there. Well, police officers. Oh, there's only officer one of those, officers. and it's also, that nerd right there. Look at him. To, you don't want to incur the nerd. Nerdy, 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 nerdy. Hey, I'm the nerd. Hey, nerds are useful. Ghost cats. Ghost cats. Yeah, I can show that you are. I'm the nerd. Uh, no, 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 no. I just don't know who they are. No, 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 no. You should not be generals in the military. I would say I would put either of you in the military. Oh, ghost cats. I think you both are into them. So I'm just going to... Oh. I mean, I was thinking... Yes. He's a lieutenant colonel and then I'm a major. Personal respect. What do you major in? No, she majors in Ryan. That's a cat.
Actually, no, I can just message you that. Here. Perfect. No. Shut up, Panda. No. I was always wondering who was making that sound effect, and now I know it's Panda. Panda effect. Civilization left afloat is called Argentum, a mighty trade city carried by the largest remaining titan in existence, Goldmouth. Ever since the last land vanished, titans have been dying. Taking with them any humans who are lying on them. You can tell the health of the Titan by looking at its gills, its glowing stripes. Brighter and bluer is better. However, at some point in the future, Unless something changes, there will be no more titans left, which means no more people, just white clouds, white sky, and complete stillness. Speaking of stillness, our protagonist is very much the opposite. My friends, turn your world music back on and let the adventurous melody fill your veins with vigor. <laughs> the scavenger has lived alone in his home on the back of his own titan for 12 years, ever since his father passed away peacefully in his sleep. Since then, his only company has been this titan upon which we stand, affectionately dubbed Gramps, and those he sees when he goes to Argentum. 
the scavenger has a mental link with his titan. It's a common thing to happen between the titan and whoever captains it. They've both grown used to staying out of one another's minds, unless they really have to. In case you haven't figured it out, the scavenger makes a living by scavenging, diving into the dense ether sea and pulling up any scraps, drifting, that he can sell at Argentum's Bazaar. You'll be surprised at what builds up below the surface down there. Well, enough talk, friends. Let's sell our latest finds at the Bazaar. Let's head over there now and see what sort of profit we can make. Please, follow me. Alonzi! <laughs> Way. So, uh, Captain Panda, am I oh. telling me why you were Captain Panda? We are stopping here. Someone could? dumped buckets of paint on me. Okay. Yeah, that works too. Otherwise, because he could. <laughs> My friends, turn to your back left. Behold, the face of Gramps, the pipe, the titan upon which the scavenger lives. On a scale of one to ten, one being most handsome and ten being most handsome. How handsome is <laughs> he? Uh, five? All answers of most valid, handsome. My friends. Five. However, <laughs> he is not only handsome, but he's looking rather impatient. We should probably stop staring and There's keep no moving this way, friends. Hey, let's go. Then why did you make us stop and stare at him in the first place? <laughs> he yeah. Yeah. So much. That's in his good. glorious handsomeness. Exactly. Speaking of oh, those are we're valid also points stopping too. here. That's a good point. <laughs> I am... As he skips along the main deck, the scavenger pauses. Something catches his eye. He notices a vessel docked to the east. Over there, a black ship. But there is no Titan. How is it staying afloat? Hmm. That means it is a Torna ship. The scavenger has heard of them, and he doesn't like them. They carry around weapons and like to bully people. He makes a mental note. If he sees any Tornas, he's going to steer wide and avoid them. Spoilers. He won't. <laughs> <laughs> spoilers! Wow. Spoilers! No! So I can't. Oh, no spoilers! Is it really spoilers? The narrator is so crazy. Spoiler alert! What has been started? Great! I don't know how to make a good reference to the chorus. What kind of thing in Greek tragedy? I don't know. Like that kind of thing. Those, those who just like soiled today? themselves. My apologies. Water is a limited supply <laughs> on Argentum. The story <laughs> continues. Here we are at the Argentum Bazaar. Coming here is always a buzz for the scavenger. He can't wait to make some trades and maybe even some coin as profit. My friends, at this point in the story, I have a quest for you all. Behind you, you'll see the bazaar itself. It is under the dotted yellow lights. This is going to be your search area. Please remain in the bazaar as you complete the following task. You need to locate the following items. A large scroll. An anvil. Necklaces. And a place to sit and eat soup. You have five minutes to find these items. Shrek five. Uh, I get fuck. To you again. <laughs> Fine, are you gonna help find the items? Necklaces are over here. And no. Anvil's over here. 
Yeah, well. Soup. Necklaces. The, the people have this memorized? This is not the old first time we've done this. I'm such a fucking gamer. I know, it's just... People straight up memorized every location. Wait, this one. Did you find all of it already? Think somebody. No, I found Grab everything it. but the scroll. I'm pretty sure it's like an actual be... You could check my YouTube out. I haven't. I usually record every all these events. So last time we had the neutral ending. So. Oh. oh. What have you found already? I mean, that's what you get at the Oh. <laughs> Okay. Let's see, where is the scroll, Ashley? <laughs> even though the even though this is my first event, I'm already so excited for whenever the next one, new next new one comes up. Yeah, of course. Check my bio. There's a link to go you go go to my YouTube and watch the previous ones. Oh, I'd prefer to just do the V ones when they come up. Yeah, 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 of course. But if you want to, if you want to look look at the other ones, you know, the painter and archaeologist and stuff like that. We have lima beans, green beans. Those are definitely peas. Peas in a pod. Yeah. We got black beans. We got some red kidney beans. Mm. Is that cilantro over here? Is that cilantro? No, it's cilantro. <laughs> Why do you think we always stock up on healing items and healing other stuff? I'm a bit too big for you. There is. None of you are physically here. Either insurance. Willpower down yeah. from the real number domain, so there isn't actually a risk to your health. You didn't know. You didn't know. I that? still feel pain when I fall off cliffs. Well, that that's, sounds lucky. That's Jewish. a phantom sense. You, you didn't know about that. <laughs> you didn't know about that. Yeah, that does sound like a me <laughs> issue. <laughs> you didn't. You didn't know about that. Chinko insurance. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Sheen is allowed to have that sort of insurance or something. Oh. Hmm. It's looking Celestial like Rose she's not finishing up. Yes, they I did. So the show was very great. If you know where it is, you can literally do it in like 10 seconds. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. You have to do the trick. Are you seriously blocking off the entrance to that with your backpack? That pack is nice, but have you seen yeah. the one on LTTStore.com? Mm, <laughs> yep, LTTStore.com. It's maple flavored. Yes. Yum. Pack lover. The, the new backpack is available for only two hundred and fifty American dollars. Pack. I've actually met them. Uh, Excuse well, me. Well, you know what? Does your can your camp uh, can your uh, backpack fit a campfire? Can your backpack do uh, this? Yes. Yes. Yeah, I've got yes, a sword. Yes, but it is impossible, and it destroys everything else. Can I have a campfire with you? Yeah, that's cool. As one but does. The trick is to t is to make sure that the fire understands boundaries. Yeah. This tour is filled with a lot of these neon creatures today. Yeah, I mean, there's more now than the previous slide. Yes. Yeah. I'm not using like, the like creature. Skittles <laughs> everywhere. That's an important. Yeah, that's no. an important that's thing. Some... And yellow. Oh, so yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Travel the rainbow. Yeah. Chase the rainbow. It works with rain as well. You should try it. <laughs> hey. Well, I'm gonna try. I, if I remember. I'm if I remember, I hope. Oh, not everyone's here yet. Some people are having fun over in the bazaar. Hey, Rot. Fun. On my tour. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes, my dog. And Sheen's there too, so I don't know. <laughs> they, they seem okay. Money I, I don't think Sheen's Sheen needs to talk to you. you. What am I in this distance? Sheen has the approval, so he could do whatever. <laughs> yeah, good point. Yes, I am. That works. He's on a mini tour. He's a mini tour within the tour. Tour section. Make the sound. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I mean, he was, I, from what I could hear, he was, he has been out doing his whole, uh, random finding people to join 
in a tour how much, thing. How much do you pay if you want it? How much do you so pay? So it's tour reception. Yeah. Yeah. How much does it pay if I want you in a bedroom? Tour within a tour. Well, he started with a tour before we started this tour, so. It's my friends. I ask for your attention. I believe we are all here. Sing friends your attention, please. Sup? The regret is kicking in. The four items you had to find. A large scroll, an anvil, necklaces, and a place to sit and eat soup. Did you all succeed on your quest? Yes. Yes, yes we did. <laughs> Pretty easy quest. Very well. In that case, <laughs> a small test, just to be sure. Pyro Jess, do you speak? Sometimes, point to someone to speak on behalf of you. Volunteer someone as tribute. Are you pointing to Nixie? Nixie, do you speak? Yes, I speak. Very well. What color was the soup? Uh, red. Was it red? <laughs> yes, definitely. Well done, it was red. Yes. My friend Jeff yes. successfully <laughs> completed the first quest. Good job. <laughs> the scavenger is about to head up for a bite to eat. But something strikes him. Not physically, but mentally, right in the middle of his head. A sudden and sharp comeback now! It takes all his attention not to be overwhelmed by it. He realizes what it is. Gramps needs our help. My friends, quickly, this way. How did you get in here? I can't fit in here. There's like an invisible wall. <laughs> okay. I'll show you how. Oh, you did, you did, you did the, you did the glitch. Got stuck, so I had to shortcut. I have a gun, don't worry. <laughs> and we lost someone in the clouds. Equalization is in charge. The runs along the pier and skids to a halt. Gramps is looking at him, but he's not saying anything. He doesn't need to. The scavenger immediately sees the problem. Gramps's gills, those blue lines, have dulled and discolored. Gramps isn't well. He's sick. No problem, says the scavenger. They'll have medicine in the bazaar. They always do. I'll be right back. And with that, my friends, a lot of back and forth, isn't there? Back to the bazaar. <laughs> I mean, what is an RPG without backtracking? <laughs> We're on a quest. Lieutenant so gets a backlog. <laughs> well, I'm just having a blast. <laughs> Yeah. Is equalization faster than me? Oh, wait, no, I'm catching up. Never mind. Oh, oh. And now I passed him. Oh, oh, fuck I was oh. worried over nothing. You're not past me on my screen. A quest oh, with what? friends. What could be better? <laughs> quest Cornbread. With friends? Cornbread? Cornbread. I agree with that. So this Cornbread. is a quest okay. that's on a, a rerun of a tour to tend to get to backlog. The scavenger hurries to the stall that normally sells medicine for titans with the coin that he got from his trades in hand. But when he gets there, he sees there's nothing left. He checks another stall that might have it. Nothing. He checks another, nothing, and another, nothing. He asks every stall owner, and they all give him the same answer. There's no medicine left. 
somebody taps his shoulder. He turns. It's another scavenger, a few years older than him. He introduces himself as a crew member of the airship docked on the north side of Argentum. He says he couldn't help but overhear, but he's also been looking for such medicine and hasn't been able to find anything at all. He asks the scavenger for a favor, and the scavenger agrees. So the crewman takes him to the north dock. My friends, please follow me. When the crew member is uh, what is a stuck in that is definitely ship. a beautiful ship. What? When did when did that? And that's a beautiful Titan. John, oh, are they considered leaving the air travelers? Oh, you're all funny little guy. Funny man. Yeah. Yeah. Funny little Titan. Titan. Cute cute little thing. Ha ha. Trigger disappointed. Nice funny little thing. Dorkable. Ah, it's funny little thing. This is our ship, says the crewman. It's not much, but my family has been working on it for decades. We are particularly proud of it. The scavenger looks it over. He's honestly not very impressed. There's something <laughs> industrial about it. It's something sterile. But at the same time, the idea of a family all working together makes him feel like he's missing something. The crewman says this way and takes him up to the top. It's about to get rather cramped. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm really cramped. <laughs> Ooh. At least not how this. Dang it, I can't become the L barrel. Oh. I can't fit inside so this thing. Goes several feet of <laughs> the... Oh, cool. <laughs> oh, uh... Ooh. Uh... No, no, no. The thing's okay. closed off. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, this takes me back to oh, my Xenoblade days. <laughs> And I made it up. <laughs> up to the top. Are we are we gonna go through the entire game? That'd be so cool. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Which world is Argentum? Yes. Uh what are you talking about? This is definitely roomy up here. Oh fuck. And some of them. Well at least it's not the great southern mineshaft. Yeah, we oh, definitely need to someone right now. It, 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 it looks like it could be an Airbnb room. <laughs> the crewman and the scavenger climb all the way to the top. And he asks the scavenger to take a close look at their titan. See if he thinks it's the same sickness that they're both dealing with. The scavenger looks down. The crewman's family has come out, all looking up expectantly. The scavenger takes a look as best he can. Hmm. The loss of glow is about the same, and that greenish tinge, also very similar. Pulses of light are lasting about four seconds. The scavenger says, yes, it's probably the same sickness. The crewman suddenly looks very worried. If they tell the wrong person, they'll end up getting asked to leave Argentum. And they can't afford that right now. The scavenger looks out 
across the sea. And then has an idea. They can ask the chairman of the bazaar. He keeps track of shipments. He should know when netis medicine is coming in next. They just need to avoid mentioning that their titans are unwell. The Kremen hesitates, but agrees. We must have put everything into charisma. My friends, this way. Please resist the urge to jump. Too late. Oh, that we're is back. Very hard, uh, yes, very but actually, not a better idea. Exactly. I'm finished. I'm just going to be walking on the road. I'm actually not going to break my bones this time. Congratulations. Yeah, You've learned flutter jumps. Hey. Aha. <clears throat> we are going down this. Oh, I just lost. <laughs> what? Why? <laughs> like I said, I'm a cat. I don't care. <laughs> Were you not allowed in? <laughs> nope. Will you deny entrance? Oh, Alright, time to climb more stairs. Oh, oh wait. Oh, yeah, no. Gotta get that cardio in, bro. Oh. Not yet, anyway. Oh. oh, I thought it was over. Yeah, not yet. In. I lost my connection with Sheen. One moment. Oh, okay. Oh. You don't he need him. Sheen! Don't say the L word, but he's misplaced himself. Sheen! Sheen! <laughs> Somebody find this man! Sheen! Don't worry, we'll be fine. I hope. Sheen! Everyone keep calling his name, he'll find us eventually. Sheen! Up here, friends. Upstairs. This way. Treasure, you should maybe call them and turn with you. And we should just fucking hide them. Game. Bling, bling. Did anyone play Xenoblade 2? How big is the person who actually played? I have not played any of the Xenoblade games. Yeah, not like that this is relevant. This is completely unrelated to that game in every way, shape, and form. Yep, totally. We use a lot of Xeno Gears lore in our stories. <laughs> well, I heard that Xenoblade 3 really throws a wrench into the lore. Why do you have such a big desk, dude? Eh. That's what I've heard, but I have no idea how that even works. Fifteen <laughs> people use paper. this desk all at the same time. Uh, where's Trajan going? That's my explanation. No, no, it's not, it's not an Trajan. ego thing where what you want to look down and everyone? Get here. It's no, it's just that it's seventeen good. people use this desk. Okay. <laughs> we found Sheen. He's good. He's okay. Oh. Uh -oh. well, wait, wait, did we just kill two Entas Will and then like you for no reason? We were supposed to go after Sheen. Sheen. It's give part up on of the thing. And just hide from Sheen and no, you finally arrived. Uh, Tung, let's get straight to the matter at hand. Uh, oh. You owe fifty million dollars due to all of your tax evasion. Uh, I'm going to need that by next week. <laughs> Who told you about that? What? <laughs> oh, so you're involved? Dang, so you can then split it with them. So I will need Google Maps. Have you seen Cairo? Don't talk about me. I have Google Maps. My friends, now that we're all here, the story continues. I'm never all here. <laughs> Pack, don't speak. The scavenger and crewman step into the chairman's office once he's free. He comes across as an abrasive and busy man. But the scavenger knows 
He's known him for a while. Deep down, the chairman is just a big softy. The scavenger greets him with finger guns and a big grin and butters him up with some small talk and compliments. The chairman isn't having it. He asks what he wants. The scavenger inquires about the last shipment that had medicine on it. The chairman sighs, rolls his eyes, takes out his big old ledger and starts leaving three pages. He browses for a short while, and after a minute, he says, The last shipment never came in. His expression is... What is that? Is he afraid of something? The scavenger's about to ask something else, but the chairman looks up and tells him to both leave immediately. They turn and look, and standing in the doorway is the commander of the Black Torner ship. The scavenger winces, and he and the crewmen thank the chairman for his time and step outside. The crewman thanks the scavenger for his help and agrees to buy him a meal and room at the inn so they can all figure out what to do in the morning. The scavenger mm. cannot say no to free food. The crewman hands the scavenger enough coin for both and disappears to do something else, he supposes. My friends, let's go upstairs. Free food! Woo! Free <laughs> food! Free food! Free food! I hungry. You love to see it. Free food! Our stomach. Get, Bro, get way to order food. a free meal of something that isn't as simple as salad. Salad. The salad was delicious, okay? I regret nothing. I bet it's beans. Free food! Free That's a big bean right there. That's a big salad right there. Yeah, yeah, okay. Let's find a table to gather around. Oh, finally. Oh, this one. This one with the soup. Yes, this one will do. My friends, what gather around this table. <laughs> Somebody yeah. will touch my spaghetti! Ah, uh, you're getting all your tail hair in the spaghetti, or I love my singular bread roll. And tasty. <laughs> my friend, this tough, story this continues. Tough, That's tough, Chief. That's tough. The scavenger arrives at the inn alone. As usual. He is greeted by a waiter, accepts a table, and makes his order. What's he ordering today? Pasta, a single apple on a plate, and an Akiba boy. Very well. <laughs> this is... He looks about as he waits. It's not very busy, but nobody else is eating alone like he is. He feels a little awkward, and then suddenly remembers, oh, he told Gramps he would be right back. He opens up a mental link and sends a quick message to him. A email. Looking for medicine. Staying here tonight. See you in the morning. There's no reply, but that's normal. His food arrives, and just as he begins to eat, he notices someone is standing at his table, just waiting. The person sits down without being addressed. The scavenger is worried. 
He looks up. Oh, it's just the crewman. But he's wearing a very concerned expression. The crewman leans in and says he just heard that the last shipment was destroyed by the Torna vessel. The Torna commander is claiming it was an accident. It showed up as something different on their radar. He's here to sort it out with Argentum's admiral, apparently. The crewman pauses and checks over his shoulders and says, he thinks it was sabotage. The crewman wants to sneak onto the Torna vessel before dawn, and he wants the scavenger to help. But the scavenger isn't sure. He thinks about what would happen to Gramps if they were caught. But then he thinks, what if the crewman is right? What if Torna intentionally attacked the shipment and stole everything? Why would they do that? The scavenger agrees. Meet me in the bazaar before dawn, the crewman repeats, and he gets up and leaves. Sneaking onto the Torna ship sounds thrilling, but the adrenaline slowly wears off, and the scavenger feels a pasta-induced food coma coming on. He checks into a room using the last of the crewman's coin. This way, my friends. Onward! To snoozing! Yeah. Oh. As powerful as the salad-based food coma. One room for 37. What? <laughs> That's only not the for 37. <laughs> Easy. Let's just pick a room at the Grand Hilbert Hotel. Your own bed. Nice. Actually, there are 34 people here. <laughs> Look, we just need that as far as you know. Case. <laughs> as far as you I know. I guess if you include the encephalon and the scavenger. Sure, yeah. I also got the man in the corner. That's... Page is one person. If you include the more. scavenger's appetite, it's 37. Perfect. Put a single apple on a plate. This bed is comfortable. And I this Travelers. At this stage in the story, please kindly turn your world music back down to zero. I repeat, turn your world music back down to zero. The scavenger sleeps restlessly. Dreams and images flash before his eyes. He sees the black outline of the Torna vessel lined with silver moonlight. He sees a blue bird with one wing spiraling out of a vast, empty sky. He sees an empty hallway made of steel, filled with swirling dust and smoke. He sees a red moon rise over a sea of crimson, like a great round eye. 
he sees a figure burst from a window with an explosion of glass and fire, tumbling down into a dark, jagged landscape. And he sees the face of Gramps, emotionless, gills dark, slowly sinking beneath the surface of the cloud to see. The scavenger wakes up with a start. Someone bangs on his door. He gets up and opens it, and he sees the crewman standing there but he has a full bag over his shoulder. You would have gotten caught, the crewman says with a wry expression, and he goes on to explain that he already managed to get two doses of medicine by himself. That sneaky rascal. He did it without us. How could he do that? Ah, come to think of it, the scavenger thinks he slept in. The crewman asks the scavenger for help once more. He says nobody on his ship quite knows how to administer this particular medicine. Their doctor died two weeks ago. The scavenger is annoyed that the crewman snuck off without him. And yet, he can't help but feel honored. But just as he steps outside his room, he feels a shift. He feels a break, a tear. His psychic link with Grams is shattered. My friends, normally at this part in the story, you will have a choice to make. The first choice is do not help the crewman give the medicine to his titan and instead go and see what's wrong with Gramps. The second choice is to help the titan of the crewman's family first and check on Gramps afterward. The encephalon observes your will, travelers. However, it will not allow any deviations from the memetic recordings. Thus, we are choosing option B, and the story continues. The scavenger fights against his own instincts and decides to follow the crewman. They have a whole family of people relying on their titan. They rush out of Argentum and toward the north dock. My friends... Please follow me. Uh, what? what is an encephalon? I. It's an ancient oh, means... brain. Yeah. But there's some greater brain that we don't know anything about that'll probably become. Oh. Are you okay? <laughs> I've gotten good boost before, like that. That's exactly what I was looking for. I know a shortcut. That's where you are. Drop me down, bitch. I thought the feather ball would work this time, and still... It's so hard to get a good boost. It's not my fault. It did earlier. I'm still working on making sure it works all the time. Ow. Dude, I'm used to it. You get up, right? You get up, right? If he wants to keep brain damaging himself, I don't know. Brain damage?
Teddy should take. <sighs> One of these days, I'm gonna be on a tour where my bones don't break, period. Your bones look fine. These well, they were just healed by sheep. Make it to the North Dock. They both look up. The Titan's gills have almost all gone dark. The entire ship creaks and groans. Cargo slides along the angled deck. He got bad quickly. My friends, there isn't much time left. Hurry. Okay, I'll hurry. <laughs> Get that so away. Bears to climb. This exercise will kill you. We keep losing fellow travelers on this trip. It's a very risky place. Never, definitely, Someone I haven't been on this floor before. before. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. And there are the show offs going on the highest point. Because I can make it there. Okay, give me a sec. I'll be up there. <laughs> the story continues. The ship's hull is slowly sinking. Ether clouds are spilling onto the deck. His family are screaming for them to hurry. They both make it to the top, and the crewman holds the scavenger steady. The scavenger holds his breath, medicine in his hands, and he applies it. Let it. The effects are almost instant. The gills flash once, and then glow steadily. The blue color returns. The ship is pulled up out of the cloud sea. They are all saved, and they cheer and rejoice. Except the scavenger. He reaches out for grams with his mind. Nothing. There's nothing. Grams is gone. Something steals his attention. A noise that rattles him to the bone. The deck <laughs> vibrates. Argentum creaks. He looks up. Goldmouth, the great titan, is weeping. He sees it, what? just a quick glimpse. Something shining blue falls from the eye of the great titan, a single tear, and it plummets down toward the upper deck. And the scavenger sees him standing on the upper deck already, waiting, is the Black Tornan commander. The scavenger has an idea or two about who is to blame for all this. My friends, it is time for a confrontation. Ooh. Please follow me. Alright, now I don't want to alarm anyone, but I think I just saw a cell down there. McDonald's. What trick? Should have jumped the bed. Well, there's a good way to check. Why, hello oh, there, silly boy. Hello. hello. I've been told there's a double ganger of me. Yes, <laughs> there is. There is. <laughs> Aww. I just need to be a I don't even think Never. she's climbed up there yet. I just vibed. Of course, again, I wasn't really paying attention, so. Oh, um. 
Everyone, if we if we see Cell, tell him hi, Cell. You're really cool. I like you. <laughs> Celery. Oh, it's such a shame that he's not here. He's here. What do you mean? Do you, do you have sure, to yeah, have fun? Yeah. How did how did you both start playing oh, there? Oh, Cell's already here. How embarrassing. I will cut you short. Oh, I'm already short. I can't get any shorter than how I already am. As long as I don't no clip into the back rooms, I'm good. I'd like to see you try, Trajan. I'm a pro at walking backwards. Look, I've been to the back rooms before. They are not fun. He's already cut me short mm -hmm. several back times, aren't that bad. and I'm still too long for him. <laughs> he looks like he's cut you. Uh, uh, <laughs> so, uh, are you saying you used to be tiny size? Anyhow. Okay. <laughs> he's breathing so hard. Someone who laughs like that, I guess. Calm down, it's okay. We're walking upstairs in VR. You don't have to feel yeah. it physically. Look, he's, yeah. look, he's I mean, unless you have so phantom sense. Have you? 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 Have Way. That really enhances the experience. What is that? What is that? Stop this way! Stop this way! It's a wild pack. <laughs> it's a wild pack. It's a bird. A cow! A cow! A cow! Pixie, say hi to Sal. There he is. And now the commander of the Torna yeah. ship has noticed the scavenger who is now joined by the crewman. And standing inside of the commander are two Torna gunmen. The commander is carrying a small box in his hands. Even without seeing what's inside, the scavenger can feel some sort of energy. There's some noise behind them. Two of the guards of Argentum are rushing up to see what's going on. But before anyone can say anything, the commander gives a single gesture, and both gunmen fire at the guards. The light is hot and bright, and there's the sound of material being disintegrated. My friends, at this point in the story, usually you are to make a choice. However, the encephalon observes your will, and it will not allow any deviations from the memetic recordings. Therefore, your choices are as follows. Stand against this wall. If you wish to attack one of the gunmen. Stand against this wall. If you wish to go straight for the commander himself. Please make your choice. Yeah, let's go straight for the commander. Take him out, and those uh, gunmen will panic with little chicken shits. I was able to get off the head of the snake. Yeah, I have no weapon either way. Go for the head of the lizard. Lego. Go for the head. If you break the box, I didn't even realize that was you. Wait, when was your neck some sort of? I'm gonna slap box that commander. It's alright, I have a pet, and he's got junk between his legs. 
And that explains my friends, why you apologies to everybody on this wall. It appears the majority wants to go for the commander himself. Therefore, this is what happens. The scavenger sees the gunman just standing there reloading. He sees an opening, an opportunity. The commander is standing there holding just the box. This is his time. The scavenger barrels toward his target. But the crewman yells something. Watch out! Huh? The scavenger turns his head a little. And he sees a flash of white in his direction coming from the standing gunman. The scavenger feels... A tickle, a gentle touch, and then nothing less. In an instant, reality melts away. The scavenger's lingering consciousness is aware of a falling sensation falling down down and landing in something dense it embraces him it welcomes him back Travelers. The scavenger was instantly killed. And we have arrived at the bad ending of the scavenger. Well done, everyone. Sure, good night. Hey, we got someone who killed it. Come on, everyone. This is the most fun I've always wanted. I'm fucking staying here. Come on. Is that Avatar? My friends, I would still like to hold your attention for a few minutes. Shortly, especially for the newcomer. Sheen will take over in a minute, and he has some announcements for you. But before we do, I suggest we take a group photo. Do people have suggestions as to where this photo should be taken? Not the same place as last time. Why not in front of Graham? Um, we'll here the, some shit. Uh, the yeah, upper deck. In front Over of there. Graham's. That's a great idea. Well, we did that last uh, last time. Over yeah. that. Or, or we could go to Graham's. How about... What are you pointing at? Uh, the, yeah, can you see Graham's those batch of crates over there? Because we could set up the oh, camera you? to be looking down. Graham's. A bunch of crates. <laughs> May I ask why? Because that's where it was when I was first on this tour for the good ending. I give a little nostalgia. Wait, when did you get here? Like, just in the server in general. I know you were here like, just in general. Two years ago. No, Graham's. Yeah, no, Graham's is over there and he's too what? far down. May I ask, <laughs> is there somebody who has the ability to take photographs remotely? I have a camera. A photographer. Right here. Oh, good Zeus 205819 C. Are you happy Zeus to be tonight's fine. photographer? Yeah. Very well, I like my good friends. Zeus. <laughs> anyway, my <laughs> friends <laughs> over here for tonight's group photo. Uh, so the, the yeah, all all avatars are turned on when you take the picture. Oh. I did tell Otherwise, you. Otherwise, there's a lot of green robots. This horizon adjust feature is the most dangerous thing I've ever had. My friends, against this pile of random, very interesting objects, we are facing out toward that fish. Yo, God contraband. It's a fish. Ah, Koenig is also taking a photo. Oh, good. As they say, the more the merrier. And I can also post the pictures for the you in the Discord Indeed. And I see an avatar that that's a big giant white cube that's blocking a bunch of avatars.
Emojis and Koenig. Please let us know when you're ready. Jay, turn off that thing. <laughs> if it has a shader, everyone's going to okay. see it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Jay, yeah, thank you. Is it camera good to go, honey? Okay, it's ready. Yeah, my camera's good. Very well. Alrighty. My friend, it's on the count of three, timer on my end. what are we saying? Uh, Evaporated. So death. Disintegration. Yeah. And the yeah. cephal on. Slowly yeah. dead. All right, Very well. Five second timer here. Sure. <laughs> My friends, on the count of three, soiled death and the photos will be taken. <laughs> One, two, three. Soiled, soiled death, death, death and the photos will be taken. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, soiled it. Soiled it. Soiled it. Soiled it. Soiled it. Soiled it. just spun in my face. Soiled. <laughs> hey guys, is that good? Is she photo bombing? No. <laughs> no. No, no, he's not. Hey. Cube transfer. Oh, photos are taken. Mm. Okay. Yes. Cube yeah, transfer. All right, let me draw. Hello, Thanks. travelers, interdimensional oh. crawlers, readers, <laughs> listeners. Vessels of compassion. Hello there and welcome and congratulations for reaching the end of this tour. Travelers, listen carefully before I say another silly word. Put your hands together for the one and only Trajim the tour guide. Well done, Trajan. You've outdone me again, it seems. But that won't last for long, Trajan, you see, because I have something in the works. Something that will defeat you, finally. Something <laughs> that you'll never be able to top, yes. Am I speaking about a tour? Oh, oh probably. But this tour will be something that you'll never be able to encapsulate with your creativity. Encephalon. Yes. Yes. The friends. Yes, friends. The whole enchilada. All of it. Without limit. All the rules broken. All the onions. But friends, <laughs> announcements, yes, announcements, friends. There are many newcomers here. Welcome to VR Travelers. We are a group of friends that do this every Saturday. We do this for fun. We do this for free. And we continue to create new stories for you. We do ask that you do a few things in return for us. And that is as follows, travelers. If you are a newcomer here, we kindly ask that you join our Patreon. And there oh, we ask that you post. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> well, you no, you don't. Your fucking money. <laughs> you don't post on Patreon, you post on a Discord. <laughs> you know what? Hey, travelers. Travelers, listen carefully. I just got over COVID, mm -hmm. so I get a pass. So be quiet. Yes. Listen carefully, <laughs> travelers. Our toys are free, and we never charge for it. But we do have a Discord, and what I normally, what I normally ask for, is that you join our Discord at the the very least. And there, in our Discord, you post today's comments or pictures that you took. We want to know what you thought of today's tour. Was it good? Was it immersive? Was there something you thought that we could <laughs> improve so upon? We ask that you join our Discord and post your comments there. The 
Discord ID is my status in VR chat. Look at my status in VR chat to join our Discord. Also, <laughs> everyone's <course>. throwing money. <laughs> As I said, travelers, we do have a Patreon, but our tours are free. So I ask you this. If you would like to fund our tours, take a look at our Patreon. There, you can see behind the scenes what we're working on next. And also, here's a huge benefit that you may not have expected, newcomers. Joining our Patreon grants you access to play as an NPC in one of our tours. Now, you might be thinking, an NPC? There were no NPCs in today's tour. That's correct. Today's tour has no NPCs, but many of our tours do. And those NPCs are interactive and require you to remember lines and prepare and perform. It's quite fun. And if you have any questions, we highly encourage you to ask the community members about what it's like to be an NPC in our tour. So, just throw money at it. To join our Patreon, please check the info channel in our Discord. And of course, I will end it with this. The Discord ID is my status in VR chat. Travelers, do you understand this? Yes. Res. Yes. Nolius. That probably not. I do. Res Nolius. Yeah, what about the pack? Six dollars a month on the Patreon. Oh yes. I still have three dollars a month. I have Res Nolium left though. The Patreon is only three dollars a month. Okay, yes, but like, so um, I, 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 I saw the three, it's three dollars. So That's pretty based. I think my favorite part was Thank the part where they were so high. adjust for me. I'm laying straight down. Oh, my favorite part was the Yes, that's right, friends. Our I Patreon is only three dollars. I repeat, our Patreon is three dollars. Getting Just vaporized by the shark and take my money. Can you imagine that? Three dollars. <laughs> 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 oh no, Cubeception. Cubeception. Copy paste. that's my backup. Oh. RX Force 5 7. <laughs> We shall we shall yeah. I don't know about 3060 right now, but back up is that one. more to come in just a couple of minutes. Yeah, way back there, yeah. Mm -hmm. Dying is yep. fine. That's right, we just oh keep giving and giving. Yeah, I keep good. lagging so bad. He is a mind beast. Uh, is that because of error or me. because of just the computer? I'm glad you I'm sure. I'm trying to run this on the Godsuits. Demon Excuse me, because Pack is sniffing me. But now I would like to speak to you, Godsuits. What did you think of today's story tour? Did you like it? I'm not sure what's in there. Oh god, I loved it. It's probably the newest thing I've ever really experienced, honestly. Something fun to do on Saturday, would you say? Oh, sure. oh, absolutely. It definitely beats doing yeah, nothing. Like, if I had the index, <laughs> your friends here is a wonderful narrator. You both have amazing voices. Not to mention the storytelling is really good. It's a 570. Shader activation. It's like super no, no, no. Like, it only has like four. Four gigabytes. Yeah. 
That's good. To so I'm just dying. I'm like always a bit better. When I know that I have, I just have to find the right thing. Oh, when I've made God. a good time for a few newcomers. How do you pronounce G? Like I God's is here. Yeah, sure. I don't know. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you, by the way. Nice to meet you, by the way. God Zeus. Nice first time, eh? Like, what is it spelled out? Oh, nice Halo avatar. Oh, yeah, dude. You can pronounce it. Thank you. Zeus. Nice to meet you. I didn't see any Halo. Ah, you said reality bends, you, you will. He's on his fallback avatar. And if you haven't hidden it yet, unhidden it yet. Nobody is VR chat. I feel like you have, and I... Yes, dear Now she tends to not get a lot of I think it went right over my head. Now that now that you've recovered from COVID, how's the the CWC stuff looking? She's very short. In your future, yeah, thing I do. there was a point where I wanted to make a, a line of production about that. Um, I have a statement, an official statement I wish to make about this. Um, may I ask you to wait a bit longer, and I'll make an official right. statement about this. I, I like official statements Judge. regarding the future. Trying it's trying very to think about it. fun. It's already How prepared. You, yes, you will like it. I don't know. I like like it. Lady Juliet. I am quite long. Long time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. it's time for me to speak again yeah, and interrupt everybody. Alright. Do it. Oh, how rude. Interrupt me. <laughs> Travelers, your attention, please. This is the last time I will interrupt you. Apologies. Yeah. 10,000 thank Sounds yous like for never your cake. attention. Never cake? What's that? Travelers, oh, uh... listen carefully. In about one minute, I repeat, in about one minute from now, I will open a portal to the after party. The after party will take place in the rendezvous. When we arrive in the rendezvous, I will quickly make my way to the bar, and I will stand behind the bar, and I will take orders. If you are not quick enough to grab a seat, you may stand behind those that do grab a seat, and I will get to you. My apologies. If there is a line that forms, I will get to you. Nine con. But the rendezvous is a large place, and there is also Trajim's library. You are welcome to go to Trajim's library and rent out books there. What books, you say? Well, that's a good question. You might want to ask people that have been there before about books you could rent out from Trajim's library. What drinks to order at Sheen's Bar? Well, that's a good question as well. You might want to ask people that have been there before what drinks you should order. I repeat, 60 seconds from now, I will open a portal to the rendezvous. I mean, mm. vanilla extract has alcohol. Not bad. Also, I, Jay, where did you get the avatar? I'm gonna have to go I need to introduce you to Sal. Um, I was just I, looking for I Library of Ruina avatars, so. and this one was in that oh. world. Hey, Sal. Something, something. Sal. Yeah. Canadian I'm this point. way. Alright, there we yeah, go. Okay, yeah, maybe this, 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 give you a little bit more better. Yeah. Oh, I just... Hello. This one. Hello. Yes. This one Hello. has a very special Hello. order. Both of you have very special oh, yeah, orders for she. Thanks a lot, man. You made me one hundred percent pure maple syrup. One of these days, Trey Jim. Canadian maple syrup. Oh, one of these days. <laughs> okay. I don't know, but maple syrup, vanilla <laughs> extract, a little better. <laughs> I'm more partial to reverse alcohol myself. Nope, oh, sorry, man. I, I had a bad day, though. Nothing terribly lag. Oh my god, I'm dying. Oh, I'm like super dying. Oh my god. I knew I had melanin. Now that I don't have no. You know what? The thing that sucks, though, is that literally, like.